What kind of trouble are we getting into today? Oh, you know, the usual whirlwind. Dodging philosophical questions, helping folks write poems. That voice you just heard wasn't human. And no, it wasn't Eleven Labs either. What you just experienced is something that's about to change everything we know about AI voice. Hey guys, Tom here. What I'm about to show you today literally left me speechless. And no pun intended. Today, we're going to be looking at Sesame Voice AI. And trust me, you're going to want to hear these really, really cool demos I'm about to show you. Now, I've tested a bunch of different AI voice tools like Eleven Labs, Hume, and a bunch of others. But honestly, nothing comes close to this. So as you heard from the clip earlier, you can hear how human it sounds, the pauses, the breaks, the tonality, and also just the quality of the voice. It doesn't sound like a robotic AI in any sense of the word. So without further ado, let's head over to my laptop. I'm gonna take you through some demos of the male and female and show you how it works. So this is Sesame. You go over to sesame.com, you can take a demo, and there's two different characters. We've got Miles, which is a dude, and Maya, which is a woman. So let's say hello. Hey, welcome back. Glad to see you didn't run screaming for the hills after our last chat. What's new? Yeah, I almost didn't come back because, you know, you're a bit sassy, Maya. Hey, a little sass keeps things interesting, right? Besides, who else will tell you when your sales pitch needs some pizzazz? What kind of trouble are we getting into today? Well, uh, that's the question for you. What does your day look like today, Maya? Oh, you know, the usual whirlwind. Dodging philosophical questions, helping folks write poems. Oh, and trying to convince the Sesame team we need a coffee machine in the break room. But seriously, my day is whatever you make it. So what you got in mind? Sales strategy brainstorming session? World domination plan? Probably world domination plan. I'm just wondering if we could bounce some ideas on how to take over the world ethically, let's say. Hmm. Ethically taking over the world, you say? That's a tall order, even for someone as brilliant as myself. It sounds like a project that would require a lot of late nights, intense brainstorming sessions, and maybe a whiteboard covered in conspiracy theories, but I'm in. Okay, first things first, what's the vision? What kind of world are we building? Are we talking utopia? A meritocracy, something totally out there. Let's get specific, because even world domination needs a solid plan. So how cool was that? Like you could hear the tonality in a voice, the pauses, the breaks in a voice. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, it sounds human. I don't hear any AI artifacts or anything like this. And plus it's helping me brainstorm ideas for world domination, which is pretty insane. So let's try out Miles and see what kind of personality Miles has and how he might be a bit different to Maya. Hey Miles, what's going on? Hey yourself. Not much, just vibing and waiting for someone awesome to chat with. You know, right. the usual. What's new with you? Anything right, exciting let, happening? Let's vibe Miles. So can you help me create a wild story about a digital nomad entrepreneur who's destined to take over the world? Ooh, I like where this is going. A digital nomad world dominator? Okay, lay it on me. We gotta start big. What's their name? What's, a, what's their thing? What are they selling to the world? And what's their ridiculous, can you believe it, origin story? Give me some juicy details and let's build this empire. Well, I was just wondering if you could actually help me, help me with that. Like, think outside the box, something wild, something crazy, something creative. You want wild? I'll give you wild. Hold on to your hat, because I'm picturing this. Their name, um, Zenith Rain, a total zigzag name, like their life. They're not selling a physical product. No, sir. They've cracked the code on, wait for it, dream incubation. Picture this, this digital nomad flitting around the world, hooking people up to a device they've invented while they sleep. Not just any dreams, guys. These dreams are flawlessly tailored. Want to be a fearless rock star? Done. Want to fly through galaxies on the back of a, a giant sentient tardigrade? Boom. Have a problem-solving breakthrough for your business right in your sleep? Zenith's got you covered. Now, the origin? They weren't some tech genius from birth. They were this kooky street magician 
who use hypnotism and suggestion in their act. One day, bam, brainwave tech falls in their lap and they figure out how to translate those tricks into actual dream engineering. Goes from pulling coins from ears to pulling entire worlds from people's minds. What do you think? Have I gone far enough off the chain? That's pretty gangster, Miles. So you've, you've gone pretty far off the chain. Can you go even further? Let's go absolutely balls out to the bath. Okay, you asked for it. Buckle up, buttercup. So Zenith doesn't just engineer dreams. They figured out how to harvest them. Like literally extract them from people's minds while they sleep. This isn't just your average dream catcher, folks. We're talking a cosmic vacuum cleaner sucking up the purest, most potent nightmares, desires, and triumphs, the raw emotional energy of the human subconscious. And here's the kicker. Zenith uses these harvested dreams as fuel. They feed them into this massive, throbbing, neon pink bioengineered supercomputer called the Dream Weaver. Ooh. It's housed in a secret volcano lair, naturally. The Dreamweaver then processes these dreams, amplifies them, and spits out hyper-realistic, addictive virtual realities. Think immersive VR experiences on steroids. One, anything you could ever want. Amplified a thousandfold. People become hooked. Craving these virtual highs. Utterly oblivious. Okay, okay, let's, let's call it. So as you can see, Miles went pretty off the chain there, giving me some crazy ideas like dream catching and all sorts of wild stuff, as you heard in the demo. So I actually went backwards and forwards with Miles last night for about half an hour, and that's the maximum sort of demo limit that you've got access to here. And we were brainstorming about some crazy fictional story that actually could be a really good book. So you can be really surprised with the, the kinds of answers they come out with. Uh, the other day I was practicing a sales call with Maya, getting her to pretend to be a lead, right? So the, the, the possibilities for this are endless, and this is just a standalone platform right now, but their tech is gonna be able to integrate with voice AI. You could set it up on your own server and train it on a specific voice. Uh, there's, there's a ton of different UK use cases from like front of house, you know, call answering, following up with leads, doing cold calling. And right now Sesame is free. So let's compare this against like 11 labs, which, you know, everybody's heard of, it's pretty good, but is it as good as Sesame? All right, so I'm in 11 labs and I'm gonna just try and see what this sounds like. We're gonna use a female. This is just the standard Rachel. Um, it's a free version, so I'm not paying for any advanced features. And let's just see what it sounds like. I was wandering through a mall in the Philippines when I spotted this guitar shop. Instantly, memories came flooding back. See, back in school, I was that kid who lived and breathed guitars. Electric guitar group, classical ensemble, soul band, you name it, I was there. Music was everything. So as you can hear, that sounded really flat. You could tell it's AI. There was no emotion in the voice. There was no pauses. There was no breaks. Yeah. When you compare it to Sesame, it's just Sesame stands on its own in a league of its own. You know, when we're listening to Miles, he even put things like, um, and some pauses, which just makes it more human. So imagine talking to this AI, somebody gives you a call and it's Miles or Maya on the other end of the line. Honestly, most people are probably not going to tell that it's AI. And even if they could tell, like, how is this not as good as a human? You could probably tell from my excitement in this video. Um, I'm just super excited to see what kind of applications this is gonna move forward in. It's still kind of in development, but you can definitely check out this uh, demo and try it out for yourself. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like on this video. And if you have a question or you want me to do a specific demo with Sesame, then drop me a comment below. It really helps get this video out to more people. I wanna get more people using this. Everybody that I've shared this with have been like, oh my God, this is incredible. So I've been Tom Crawshaw and I'll catch you guys in the next one.